watching sunrise meets my skin. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. So it is like eight something in the morning, probably like nine now by the time we left the house. We've been up since like seven this morning. Um, your dad likes to sleep in a lot. <laughs> yeah, because <okay. laughs> Yeah, he works a lot, so he was sleeping in a little bit. Yo quiero que ustedes entiendan, yo quiero que ustedes entiendan. Por ejemplo, mira. Yo me levanto a las 8 de la mañana. 9. No. He wakes up at 9. 8. He's saying that he wakes up at 8. He wakes up at 9. 8. 9. 8. Ok. Ok. Yo me levanto a las 8 de la mañana. Entonces, yo trabajo 8. 9, 10, no, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ve, yo trabajo. Usted, es que ustedes lo han visto en los videos. Ustedes lo han visto en los videos. Pero tengo todo el tiempo. Sí, sí, ustedes lo han visto en los videos. Yo trabajo 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sí, y sigo, mira, 12, 1, almuerzo a las 2 y media. Y después sigo trabajando 3, 4, 5, escúchame, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, hasta las 11. You're ya. pushing it. You're pushing it. Tú lo estás empujando lejos. Ok. Ok. Pero él no pushes. He it. starts work. Not, he gets pushing. up around like 8.30. Hey. I be up at like 5 in the morning cleaning the house, washing clothes, okay. have all my stuff done. He be sleep. Okay, you finish 10. Tu termina a las 10. A las 11. And then he'll start working probably like 9, 9.30 because he's got to eat breakfast. Which is understandable. Breakfast is the, you know, first meal of the day. That's the breakfast. You should get that one. But he out here trying to lie to y'all. No, no, ok, que yo le voy a enseñar a ustedes, mira, cuando yo empiezo a trabajar, le voy a decir, miren la hora. Show you all the time. Miren la hora, ya son las 10 y todavía estoy trabajando. Por eso que yo duermo hasta las 7 de la yeah, mañana. Ya, pero yo me voy a Ay, ve, pero tú, me le, tú te levantas de las 6 a 6 puya. ¿Por qué tú no explicas esa parte para que entiendan? I wake up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll start like, I'll put a load of laundry in. I wash the dishes. If I left dishes from the night before, um, what else? I will like clean the bathroom. Like I'll do stuff early in the morning so I can get it done early because I know then he'll be like remodeling the house or in and out of the house or cutting the grass. So he says I make a lot of noise in the morning and he's gotta get up. It's just better to get stuff done early. Yo tengo un trabajo yeah. que por, por inconveniente, muchas inconvenientes he tenido el trabajo ese. Mm -hmm. Yo nunca he tenido un trabajo tan difícil como ese. He tenido muchas inconvenientes. Yo estoy haciendo un baño. No sé si ustedes se recuerdan. Yeah, he's doing a bathroom. Um, Pero cada vez que, esa, que la señora compra la bañera del baño, siempre viene rota. Entonces ya esta es la cuarta bañera que trae, entonces ella la ordena. ¿Cuántos meses llevo con ese baño? Oh, so he started the bathroom. So he's doing a bathroom in Ocala. Um, it, it's one of our dear friends' sister. Um, and he started, I think, two months ago. But there was so many issues with the bathtub. She wanted it bigger um, and stuff like that. And then we she ordered a couple of bathtubs and they all have come cracked or like broken just a mess like a mess with the bathtub so now another one just came in so we're hoping that everything is fine so we can get this job done like started and done Eso es lo que esperamos. it was a lot of inconvenience with that bathroom on both ends for her and for us so it was it's just been a lot lo gracioso de todo esto que ese trabajo era de de una semana, cuatro días, tres yeah. días, cuatro días. That cinco bathroom should only took like four or five days, but we're now two months in. And sometimes things like that happen. You know, you never know with life. The holidays came. Um, it took a long time for the bathtubs to come in and arrive. And every time a bathtub did come in, they were broken or cracked. And he knows the type that he's a perfectionist. He likes his job to be done correctly. And it's just been a hassle with like big box 
floors trying to get stuff intact. Which that's what happens to us too. Eso pasa a nosotros también cuando ordenamos algo. When we're doing our remodels, you just never know. So with a remodel, you never know what can happen or what can come up. Y esas cosas siempre pasan. Yeah. A veces yo voy para trabajo con una idea y cuando llego son salen diferentes y el trabajo se me hace bien complicado, bien difícil. Pero al final sale, siempre sale. El trabajo siempre se hace. Pero en ocasiones se me se me dificulta mucho por situaciones que pasan. And you know, it's such a good like um like business owner that if something does come up and it is on your end or it is on his end, he's so understanding, which is really nice, especially for his side because his clients keep coming back to him, which is a good thing. But sometimes it does inconvenient, you know, both ends. But he's just so like so nice. And it's a it's a really good trait that he has that he's so nice with everybody and tries to make everybody happy. Alright you guys, so we're gonna head to Lowe's and we'll show you a little bit of what's going on at Lowe's. Yeah, vamos a ver, vamos a ver si hoy tenemos suerte con Vamos a ver si tenemos suerte hoy con la bañera. Vamos a recoger la obra y vamos a esperar que todo esté bien. A ver si yo puedo terminar ese baño en tres, dos, tres días. de nuevo como les dije llegamos recogimos la bañera compramos todo y antes de salir de la tienda en la parte del lado en el frente de la bañera tenía un golpe que parece que le habían dado con el carrito ese que, que carga la, parece que le dieron y ahí tenía un golpe a la bañera yo le cogí un video le voy a enseñar para que vean de lo que estoy hablando you guys so now getting into some remodeling on the actual house this product Yadel has been using it for a few weeks um, we like to try out products before we even 
put it out there but he's been using it with all his machines and he's going to show you in the middle of the video of how it works with his machines um so this is a opus mega 2 it is like a solar uh, product and what it does is like it's like a power station so you can actually like do diy projects and like use saw machines and cutting machines and just all types of stuff you can use it for outdoor events and like camping and road trips and rving and it is so bomb it's a solar generator and it's just like a power station so you can use it to charge like your batteries or your iphone it has like iphone um usb plugs as well and it's super affordable compared to most brands out there it also has a um um what is that called a 220 so you can actually hook up like a ac unit if you needed to or like a little heater if you needed that as well like if you're in an rv but this is how it looks it's pretty heavy i even tried lifting it up and it's pretty heavy but you guys it makes no noise at all you're gonna hear it in the new in the upcoming clips and it's just it's so beautiful like it, it is really nice it's a nice product um but yeah so it just you can use it to like for your backups like let's say what we are going to use it for in the future is if there's a hurricane that comes we do have a generator but it's so loud you guys so we're going to keep this one charged up and ready to go for when we have hurricanes or just tropical storms because we don't have light sometimes and sometimes i want to cook and such and i can't because we don't have light so this is going to work really really good because it has a 220 we just have to go out and get that plug and our welcome work on this and it is just so bomb you guys i cannot cannot stress it to you that we be going through it when we don't have um light when the hurricanes come so we are very excited to use it and here is just yadel just plugging in everything just to show you guys that it actually works and he had four things plugged up to this um but yeah there's like 15 little outlets to plug in like multiple devices if you guys needed to do that as well and it has like adjustable chargers and like oh gosh it has so much stuff i will link all the links down below for you guys so you guys can go check it out if that's something that you want to check out but yadel has been loving it he's been charging his batteries and his trailer in here with this and he's just going to show you in a little bit how this product works so i will leave all the links down below for you guys if you guys want to go and check it out so in these coming clips you're gonna see that he has everything plugged in and he is actually using the product now these products sometimes make my breakers in the house blow like sometimes the breaker will uh tap out <laughs> you gotta go and turn the breaker on again but with this it did not do that at all and he had all that stuff plugged in y'all like everything so i definitely recommend and you're gonna see he's very excited about it that he even talked in the video so check out these next few clips and then i will leave everything in the description box for you guys
mi gente, a ver. No les puedo decir. No les puedo decir de esta máquina. Mira. Aquí lo tengo. Todo conectado a este ventilador. ¿Ves? Y trabaja perfectamente. ¿Te dan cuenta? ¿Ves? Todo conectado al ventilador. ¿Ves? Al mismo tiempo. Al mismo tiempo estoy cargando la batería. ¿Ves? No dan cuenta. Tengo esto encendido. Estoy cargando la batería. Esto es un buen producto, ¿me entiendes? Esto es muy bueno. A mí me gusta mucho, estoy bien contento con esto. ¿Ves? O sea, no hace ruido, ¿me entiendes? No hace ruido, no, no molesta y te resuelve todos estos problemas. Puedes usar esta, puedes usar esa. Cualquier máquina que tú conectes aquí tiene 220, esto es 220. ¿Ves? Haciendo los cargadores de los teléfonos. Es buena máquina. Me gusta como trabaja, me gusta. fácil te llevar puedes montarla un poquito pesada pero puedes, puedes ponerla dentro del carro no tiene problema bueno todo funciona So he is very excited about that generator. Um, and we actually were both very excited because that means that when hurricanes come, I don't have to worry about hearing that loud noise of our generator running outside. We can get this one charged up and ready to go. We can also charge it in our car. So you can actually charge that actual power station in the car, which definitely, definitely love because we always have gas. We always stock up on gas and like things that we need for the animals because we always need to have water for the animals and feed so when that actually happens we normally do the 220 on a plug and we will hook it to the generator and run it for a little bit so everybody's stock tank can fill up for a couple of days and then run it again after a couple of days because sometimes it takes them a little bit longer to come out here to the countryside to put the lights back on so sometimes we're weeks at a time without light but we are definitely very very happy with this machine to get it up and going and get our lights on and some stove going and it's just so bomb so i will leave all the links down below for y'all if y'all want to go and check that out but in today's video of doing some remodeling because we were devastated this morning about all that stuff that happened with the tub now we're going to do some remodeling on the house so Yadel's going to finish up all this trim and then he's going to be putting the paneling in the rest of the places adding some caulking and he's going to be painting tomorrow so that is it this is completely done besides us putting a shelf and some hooks up that we ordered but it won't be here until uh, probably another week or so so we just have to wait it out and do another project which i'm hoping will be the nail room because i cannot wait to get back in there and do nail videos you close and maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around
in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you I was very skeptical at first when Yadel started doing this because I'm like, oh my god, is this gonna actually look nice? But it is beautiful. So they actually fit our boots, the knee-high boots in here, and the short boots, which we're very excited about because that's what we wanted. So I have to go out and find some mats that I can put on the bottom of those two like cubbies so that way they're not getting dirty with the floor. I don't want the floor to get messed up if the boots are wet or just anything like that. So I need to find something that I can put in there. If you guys know any suggestions of something that I can put in there, definitely let me know down below. And I also have a thrift video coming out. We went thrifting to Goodwill and we didn't really get a lot of stuff because they didn't really have a lot of stuff and goodwill can be pretty pricey as it is a very big thrift store but i like to go thrifting to our local thrift stores so i will definitely try to post some of that as well but in that video we only went to goodwill so i will be posting that very soon we did get a few things not too much but we did get a few things
So in this next clip, Yadel's going to show you two different trims that we were going to go with. So we were going to go with this white one right here, but it was super plain. And we were just like, that is not our style. We are not plain. Um, so we had all these extra pieces and he came to me and he's like, do you think we should just put them all together and see if we can come up with something so it can kind of match the kitchen and i was like uh yes let's do it so that's what he did he cut up all these pieces in an angle so like 45 degree angle and put them all together just to make them look more seamless and then he's just gonna add caulking so it looks literally like one whole piece and we actually i'm so glad that we can actually use this because this trim was about 30 dollars a piece or 35 dollars a piece and they were only eight feet so they are pretty expensive the trim but that was something that we went with with our kitchen like i said we did splurge when it came to doing our kitchen remodel with the trim everything else we did not we either found it on facebook market or we went to like lowe's on the clearance side so we definitely did not splurge too much but when it came to the trim that we wanted to um blend in with the tile and the beadboard we definitely went with this one and it was a pretty expensive trim but we were able to use it all up by doing this cute little design on this bench and i'm so excited because it looks so beautiful y'all So now he's just cutting the holes to the ceiling lights. Now we contemplated a lot on doing this for the ceiling lights because we didn't know for sure if that's what we wanted on there. If we wanted to be bored, if we wanted to just put some orange peel and then paint it. We were really on the fence of this because we just didn't know. But we decided to do the beadboard and we said if we didn't like it, then we could just take it down and put the orange peel and paint it. But you guys, it came out so beautiful. We definitely, definitely loved the beadboard there. It looks so beautiful and so seamless it just matches with everything else in this um mud room and then pretty soon yada will be painting so everything will just be white and that nice wood color
now he is just cleaning up everything and vacuuming up and sweeping and that was it for today since we got a little bit of a late start to this video but i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in our next one